This week, me and my dad demolish a cottage. I'm the Digger Girl, this is episode 54, let's go. It's Tuesday morning and this morning I am working with Dad. This is the first job we've been on in a very, very long time together. We're going along to an old house that's getting knocked down, so we're currently loading up the Kubota with a grab for the Cabelco and buckets for my Kubota. So we'll be taking the two machines along. The Kubota, the Cabelco is already there. Can't quite get the hang of the grab, the claw. Do you? We're just going a mile along the road there, so it doesn't matter with the boom being tucked the way down for this one. Right, that's us finally all loaded up. Dad and is talking. I'll need to give you a tour of the house Dad's been renovating. Not personally, the joiners are obviously doing it to see how big a difference it is. It's not far away now. It's been a while since I've done a wee update in there. handy for us. So it's like aye, a mile along the road from the yard, so it's perfect. It's also a house that's been there, it's a old, much the same as that house that Dad's renovating, it's an old croft house, but it's gone past saving it. I mean you can save anything, but whether it's worth it or not is a different question. And this one is really not worth it, so it's getting knocked down and a new house will be getting put in place. Some stone will be getting reused and the rest will be getting put in skips and burnt. This is going to be quite a good job. We're going to have the... Oh, branches. We're going to have the grab on the Cabelco, probably. Try and separate things as much as possible. There won't be much left of it because it is an old stone cottage, um, so there will not really be much left of it when the time we're we're done. Blade up! Oh! Never learns. Here's old house there, it's the first look at it. But I will go on out quickly before um, we start taking it down so you guys can see that it's really not worth saving. So here's up close. I know a lot of you will be like, oh that's a lovely old cottage. We'll go inside and you can see how buggered it actually is. There's not much left of it in here. Like wee small rooms and stuff. I'm not going up there because <laughs> I don't like them scary places. <laughs> it's all these split levels and all that. All the different steps, wee rooms, small ceilings. I'm getting deja vu from my uh, dad's cottage. We small windows. So yeah, oh, nearly fell through the floorboard there. It is going. We've got, Dad's obviously my machine there now. Don't know what he's doing, always. Got the claw going and the Cabelco is here. That will tell.
just try and save the cornerstones for reusing because they're good cornerstones. Um, so save them and then get going with the rest. He's not giving me a chance to get back in my machine either. Trying to get going to roll it up. <laughs> Give up, boy. <laughs> so, Dad's going to do the majority of the bulk work with the grab and Belco, obviously because the grab is a much bigger bit of equipment whereas the claw is quite small so this will be good for fine picking the timber and the stones out and everything else put them into different piles and yeah that's a big beast of a grab that one there <laughs> he's not used it in a while the last time i think we actually used that was probably this time last year when we were along at this old cottage doing cutting all the trees that was my very first YouTube videos was when that was on. I, I'm sure if we had that and the shears on, if I remember like remember correctly. asking how the tilt and rotate works so while I'm just doing this I'll just kind of talk it through so in this hand I have the rotate so if I put the roller here one way it goes what way does that even go like clockwise and anti-clockwise and then if I'm doing this one's for tilt so that's tilt and left and right then at the back of the joystick there is another roller just like that one on the front but it's on the back here so I use this finger at the back we're putting the claw in and out. So that's what's doing the majority of the work just now, picking up the stuff. And then I can also tilt and rotate it to get to the right shape, the right angle to get in to pick up the stuff. Um, so you're using, you're just using your controls as normal, your hands, your joysticks as normal, using your two thumbs and your finger at the back for the rollers. So three rollers in total, along with the joysticks. So it does take quite a bit getting used to. I'm more than used to now. I've had my roller tilt for two years. Dad still gets a bit mixed up with what way it's going. It's a lot to learn, but clearly a game changer when you get the hang of it. People, some people probably will, will be asking why we've not got a 13 tonner here. Um, we could have had a 13 tonner here, no bother. The Cabelco, 
we do the job no bother and that's when Cabelco was here. Then this morning I just said to Dad we'll just take the rototill along as well because I'll help find picking stuff for the claw on it because that grab is a big old grab. Um, so you won't be able to, you can find it, just it's a lot easier with this little claw. And I love my rototill of course. It's better than doing any of it by hand as well. We, we quite often take two eight tonners over a 13 ton or, or a 8 ton over a 13 ton anyway um, the access is small, there's actually not that much room round about here most people would have a 13 ton in, um, we're just a little bit different that way so yeah, open the claw, close the claw with my pointy finger and then open again, because so I stole my fingers just doing this the whole time I've been explaining this because some people have never seen a tilt rotator work in their life I know some of you have, which is absolutely fine but let's appreciate the ones who don't have a clue, who want to know these things as well. Johnny Boy would love to be along here getting involved in this. Another couple of years. Let's take a closer look at, in at these. So that's the roller there. Rotating it. And then this is one here for tilting it. And the one at the back, well, my finger I'm talking about is here. There's also one at the back of this side, but we don't have that used for anything. There's a pulse function as well, but you use two at the same time. Oh, there's Johnny Boy there. <laughs> so effortlessly. That's a huge grab for that machine. Piano still in there as well. End of an era along here, that's for sure. That is absolutely roast, I can hardly touch it. I'm gonna have to move further away from that fire. Look at these two, you see the wee heads playing the piano. <laughs> but yeah, that is some heat coming off that fire. I'm gonna have to budge myself over a little bit further away from it. I'll put brand fix to test at this rate with this wrap on it. Johnny Boy's doing some filming for his own YouTube channel. I finally let him get one. Um, he's called The Digger Boy. So all you guys, if you go over and follow him, it's gonna be him doing his own wee journey with kiddie stuff. So go for that. Go, go and subscribe to that. Well, that's a house, the original half down. Just the other half to do, and then there's a big extension at the back. So, see you guys tomorrow.
dad's cottage had a bit of woodworm. Um, the bits we had to stay that they wanted to keep was woodworm. They just had to treat it, and the smell of the treatment stuff was horrible. Um, but the rest got burnt as well on the site. make good killings for my own stove at home if it wasn't covered in woodwork to not take that to my house. Dad was a bit worried, concerned about um, the stickers I've got on my machine to pull off the heat, the heat off it, but honestly they're so thick like it's not even touching it. Put them to good test anyway, like I put everything to good test. That's another thing, I'm not letting it get too big. Another couple bits of gear and then I'll let it die back down before I put it more on it. We're just lucky that um, everything's always so wet up here so nothing else will go on fire. I can feel like getting hot through the glass now, so I'm doing it. back here for about 15 minutes, let dad get another pile up and let that fire die, die down a bit because I machine's getting toasty. Getting there slowly. Got a wee helper. What are you doing to my digger? <laughs> you gonna have a shot? No. <laughs> Probably bought it for the, the character of the cottage as well. 
but with some of the stone getting reused then they're still going to have that little bit there and they've kept a cast iron bath out of it as well to get it um, restored and put back in. There's a lot, a lot of work in these old cottages. Um, we know that from doing our own one. There it goes. Around the back there, that's a newer bit, that extension down there as well. I'm seeing newer, it's still very, very old, but it's newer than the original cottage. I'm just waiting again for this fire to die down. morning. Um, I'm here myself this morning. Dad's away to look at another job. The fire is still going just as we glow in it there. So I'm just going to jump in the Cabelco just now while I'm waiting for Dad. Take it out, all that stuff it in the house, put it over there, jump in that and put it in the fire. Horrible day so I'm going to get all cosy. You guys might know that I love all our machines. Like there's always, there's something I love and something I don't probably love as much about all of them but they all serve a purpose and they're all well looked after and I love them all. One thing about the Cabelco, what is better than the other eight tonners is its size of cab. So it's got a 13 ton cab on it. So it's like, look how big it is. Like you see my daughter sitting behind Papa yesterday in it. Um, and it's so spacious, it's so comfy. It's, yeah, a lot bigger than the other cabs. Uh, Dad likes Takuchi, to be fair, has a very big cab as well, but just not quite as big as this. I think it makes the machine look a lot beefier as well. Um, it looks a lot bigger than the Kubota when you have them both sitting next to each other, even though they both are um, eight ton machines. I'm just wrapping the rest of this wood out. There is some bricks and blocks what are in amongst that wood down there, but I'll be able to find tune it with the rotor that we're putting it on the fire, put the, the blocks and obviously anything else not for the fire, away from the fire. <laughs> so how we're working this is you can see the controls here, put it like that. As on this hand, right. this hand we've got the, the claw open and close. So it's just that roller open and close, and then this one we've got spin round. So let's see how we get on with this. I've used this grab in years. I'm looking for the 
tilt on it to try and put it like that way. <laughs> but you can also do with an open tilt. That's Dad back, he's jumped back in the Cabelco and I am back in my own machine. He didn't wouldn't want to come this one, he wanted to go in that one. <laughs> so yeah, just stoking up this fire again. And there's just a little corner bit there to get taken down but that is it all done now the tidy up obviously all the wood's done but there's going to be stone that they're going to reuse to build the front of the house new house so it'll be separating a good stone out from the the bricks and rubble well that's my week all over and done with i'm off to dublin tomorrow so i have a long weekend off make sure you come back next week to get an update on the cottage as always guys thank you for the likes comments and if you've not already subscribed remember and hit subscribe thanks guys You want? So if your hands up, see what I'm doing.
sure there's no money in that bag. <laughs>